Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NFL action for week six, again, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access right here to the VIP Club section, which has all of these tools to help you make your picks. So we're getting into some interesting times here in week six because two teams yet the Philadelphia Eagles and San Francisco 49ers remain undefeated. Let's take a look at their prospects for the week, as long as three other games. So let's take a look at some of these games. Baltimore and Tennessee. We're not going to take a look at that one again. We're looking at five of the games here. Carolina, Miami. Indianapolis and Jacksonville. Here's the first one we want to look at. Jacksonville comes in burning hot. You see they have won their last two. And they are three and two on the season. While the Colts are average up coming off of a win, they are also three and two on the season. You see Jacksonville has a 61% chance of winning. They are 4.5 point home favorites with odds of 1.51 to 2.587. And the over under is set at 44.5. If you take a look at the over-under, though, the teams have been trending in games under the line. They have combined uh, in four of the last five games between, uh, you know, with these two teams have been under. See, Indianapolis is a, a three-star underdog value pick, whereas Jacksonville is a three-and-a-half-star uh, game winner pick as the favorite. 67% um, chance of winning, uh, predicting um, the last six Jacksonville Jaguars games. And you can also see that Jacksonville has won 80% as a favorite in the last five. The score predictor has Jacksonville by 33-22, which would crush the uh, over-under line of 44.5. But the confidence in the prediction is only 52%. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator chart, you see here the downward trend from Jacksonville up until this past week where they're back up to plus 18. And you can see uh, Indianapolis took a big hit from plus 22 down to plus 13. Let's take a look at the movement in the money line. There has been some movement. It opened at 1.37. You can see here there's a sharp uh, line detected against Jacksonville, and then there's another line against Jacksonville, and then there's another one against Jacksonville. And you can see now the line is at 1.51. So in the end, I think this is going to be a good chance for Jacksonville to win. I will take them to win this one and cover, but pass on the over-under. Okay, the next one we want to look at here is, um, as you scroll down through a little full straight four games, San Francisco and Cleveland. San Francisco coming in 5-0, and possibly the best team in the league right now. Um, they are huge 9.5 point favorites with odds of 1.21 to 4.42, an over-under of a very low 35.5. Cleveland's coming off of a loss by 28-3 to score to Baltimore. If you take a look at the chance of winning, 73% chance for San Francisco to come out on top, and they are a five-star game winner pick as an underdog. The score prediction is 37-16 to 16 in favor of San Francisco, which would blow out the over-under, and also would blow out the, uh, the line, which is at 9.5. Notice that five-star road favorites in burning hot status, which is what 49ers are right now, are 4-1 and one over the last 30 days, so take that into consideration. Um, let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. You see San Francisco on a huge upward climb at plus 30. Cleveland is at plus 23. Actually surprised Cleveland's that high at the moment at plus 23, but they are. Uh, let's take a look at the money line. You can see the movement. There's been a lot of movement in the line. It started at 1.752 for San Francisco and is now at 1.34. So you can see right in here in this section here, look at a sharp uh, line move detected in favor of San Francisco. You can see the move, the line has traded more in their direction. So this is a more looking more and more like a San Francisco blowout. So let's take San Francisco and over. Seattle and Cincinnati. Seattle has been very surprising over the last three weeks, winning each of those games, although you have to take a little bit uh consideration who they play. But hey, you can only uh, beat who's on your schedule, right? But it was uh, the Giants and Carolina, although they did, did beat uh, Detroit, which was an impressive win. Cincinnati is ice cold up, winners of two of their last three. If you take a look at the over-under, they have been trending on games opposite sides of the line. Uh, look at the game winner pick. Cincinnati is just a one-star pick, and the underdog value pick, uh, Seattle is a five-star pick. Um, Cincinnati is a home favorite, though, by two and a half points, with a 56% chance of winning the game. On the power ranks indicator, though, you can see Seattle is much higher. They were on the 
big upward trend at plus 22. But, excuse me, while well, Cincinnati is at plus 9. If you take a look at the stability factor here early in the season, uh, both teams are at zero, so neither team has been particularly uh, consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at the money line. It started at 1.69, uh, Cincinnati money line, and you can see there's been some movement in the line, but it's really not that much different from where it starts at 1.62. So what I'm looking at here is, and you can see there's a lot of other people making picks here. You can take a look at these picks and what people are thinking here. But the way I'm looking at it is Sal to continue the hot streak, and I think it's going to go over the line. Next game we want to look at is we scroll down through here. Detroit and Tampa Bay. That is the next one we want to look at. So Detroit comes in burning hot. They're winners of their last three. And Tampa Bay is also burning hot coming off of a win. And they have only lost one this season. That was to Philadelphia. If you take a look at the odds, it's Detroit a three and a half point favorite with odds of 1.62 to 2.358. The over-under is sitting at 42.5. The teams have been trending on opposite sides of the over-under. You can see Tampa Bay under in the last two while Detroit is over in the last two. Um, Detroit has a 59% chance of winning here, 59 to 41. And they are a four and a half point um, game order pick as a road um, favorite. Detroit has covered the spread 80% in their last five games, and they also won 80% as a favorite in the last five games. And the score prediction also is in favor of Detroit. The confidence in the prediction, though, is under 50%. For what it's worth, 28-18 in favor of Detroit, which would be over the line if this were to hold up. On the power ranks indicator, Detroit at plus 27, while Tampa Bay is at plus 15. If there's been any movement in the money line, let's take a look at this. There has been some movement. It opened at 1.64, and but now it's back to where it started from pretty much. So even though there's been some movement throughout the week, it's back to, from where, to where it started. Um, I like Detroit to win this one in a game over the line. The last one we want to look at is Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Jets. Philadelphia is coming off of a win. In fact, they have won their last five. And what happened right here? Let's go down here. A little glitch here. Let's get back to where this game was. Here we go. Philadelphia burning hot winners of all five of their games. The Jets are average. They're coming off of a win after three consecutive losses. And you can see Philadelphia is a big favorite of 7.5 points with odds of 1.3 to 3.665. And the over-under is at 40.5. Philadelphia is given an 81% chance of winning this contest. And an 83% chance of winning rate predicting the Eagles in the last six. And they've covered the spread in 80% of their last five as a favorite. You can see where this is trending. The score prediction is all Philadelphia 36 to 8. Confidence in prediction is nearly 70%. Let's see if there's been any movement in the line. Philadelphia is a is a huge advantage on the power ranks indicator is 31 to 3. Um, and here as far as the money line goes, it started at 1.41. You see there's been some movements in both directions, but in the end here now, the Eagles are even more of a favorite at 1.31. So yeah, this is unless Philadelphia completely doesn't show up, um, this should be an Eagles win and cover. But I'm going to pass on the over under. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the picks for NFL for week six. Happy betting and see you next time.